What started as a ripple caused by the collapse of a little-known finance company has led to waves in Westminster. There are now seven separate inquiries into issues linked to the Greensill scandal. Far beyond the control of Boris Johnson and his Boardman inquiry. I think the most important thing is for uh, us to get to the bottom of it uh, properly and uh, for, I, I want all uh, ministers and civil servants uh, to be making you know, the information that needs to be known uh, known to uh, Mr Baldwin. The rules on lobbying and conflicts of interest are highly likely to be toughened up, but this is also about the culture in Westminster, a place where it's partly about who you know. Access is important, contacts are currency, and that is why questions are now being asked about senior figures, not just in past administrations, but in the current one too. Bill Crothers has been much criticised this week. He was the civil servant running government procurement who for a few months worked for Greensill too. But what of the man who appointed him? That was Francis Maud, then the top cabinet office minister in David Cameron's government. Simone Finn was Mr Maud's special advisor. In 2015, David Cameron gave both Maud and Finn seats in the House of Lords. They later founded Francis Maud Associates, a private consultancy firm which advises government on issues like procurement. But both are now back in government, although they retain their shareholdings in the company. Baron Maud is conducting a review into how Whitehall operates. Baroness Finn was this year appointed Boris Johnson's deputy chief of staff. She has declared her outside interests. But some call this the revolving door. It's not a revolving door, it's an open door now into government. We need increased powers, we need more um, and stronger lobbying rules. What we've got is lobbying rules that obviously aren't working. The ex-minister tasked with policing the jobs of those leaving government says a culture change needs to come from the top. Those who have power have a, have a responsibility uh, to set a very clear tone because, you know, the way in which an organisation runs is reflected to what the people at the top. Where seven inquiries go, an eighth could follow, with public spending watchdog the National Audit Office now considering whether to launch their own investigation. For now, those waves continue. Joe Pike, Sky News, Westminster.